at last, 200 years in the making, in honor of the bicentennial of the state of Illinois, it's the HFK Bicentennial Minute. Today in Illinois history, September 25th, 1900, Governor John Palmer dies in Springfield. John Macaulay Palmer, the state's 15th governor, died in his sleep at his Sagamon County home on this day in Illinois history. Palmer, who changed party affiliations five times over his six-decade political career, came to Madison County, Illinois from Kentucky as a 14-year-old boy with his family in 1831. At 17, after his mother's death, John was sent off to, by his father to make a life for himself in Illinois Prairie Frontier. He taught school and sold clocks for years while studying law, was admitted to the bar in 1839, and then opened up a practice in Carlinville, Illinois, almost immediately. He made a name for himself in local politics, serving as a Macoupin County judge intermittently from 1843 to 1852. Palmer befriended, befriended Democratic powerhouse Stephen A. Douglas, and with his support, was elected to the Illinois Senate on that party's ticket in 1854. But he later split with Douglas over the controversial issue of the expansion of slavery and stumped for Republican Abraham Lincoln during the 1860 presidential campaign. Now a member of the Republican Party, Palmer was a delegate at the National Peace Conference in 1861, served as a major general in the Union Army during the Civil War, and was appointed military governor of Kentucky by President Lincoln in 1864. After the war, Illinois Republicans persuaded him to run for state governor, an office he won easily in 1868's election. Palmer chose not to run for re-election. He later joined the short-lived liberal, liberal Republican Party, rejoined the Democrats to claim a U.S. Senate seat in 1890, and then formed the Gold Democrats in 1896 to run, unsuccessfully, for the U.S. presidency at the age of 79. Palmer was interred in City Cemetery near his family home in Carlinville, Illinois. Today's Illinois fact. Inventors John Deere and Cyrus McCormick made their fortunes in Illinois by improving farm machinery. And that's your HFK Bicentennial Minute.